Happy Wednesday, everybody. So this morning, I'm doing a little self-care before I leave. I have two things to do today. One of them, I have to sign up for a class, and then I'm going to the library. But other than that, I I have to get myself together. You know, I cannot leave the house without getting my face together. And plus, my stress acne is coming back on my forehead, so... I got this turmeric on my face. It's mixed with honey, apple cider vinegar, coconut oil. And so far, I'm loving it. It feels soothing. I have a beautiful, you know, texture going on up there. But sooner or later, it's supposed to um, brighten up the skin. And trust me, I have hyperpigmentation around the ear area, the cheek area. Just trying to brighten that up a little bit as well as clear the um the skin up. So this is day one of prepping the skin because I have another um acne creams and the dermatology stuff that I just recently got. I'm gonna put it on tonight. And this is supposed to be applied twice a day. So Hopefully, this will do something by the end of this week because I'll be doing this every morning before I leave. So, updates on the job. So, somebody offered me to do a work from home type job. Um, it's a, more like a customer service thing because I do have a laptop, but um, I don't know. I'm thinking about it. <laughs> so hopefully everything will work out because I am planning on giving them my answer today but that's just how it is like I said I'm doing good everything is fine updates on my life for five seconds I'm doing good okay taking it day by day and believing all the stress that I have in the last month or two but um, updates on the marketing job that I had. I quit that job um, for two reasons. One, I don't want to work on commission. Um, when they told me about that, it was like maybe about two days into the job. And then two, I, it's like I realized after working there and talking to my boss and talking to a lot of people there, that company was a freaking scam. And it was like beyond like fucking crazy so they basically begging people to donate money to these um the plant international and other funds like other um children aid society places like that it's like clearly children aid society is the most legitimate um donation place ever but all these other places that they was um helping out and working for, it was like a scam. It was fake. It was like you can't tell the real from the fake until you actually deal with it firsthand. And the one thing I didn't like was they was basically embarrassing themselves on the streets of New York to get people to donate money. And then they get upset when these potential donors want to see proof that the money is going to go to the children and go to the countries for supplies, schools, waters, and everything. Now, I don't blame nobody for asking for proof or for even a pamphlet because people was like, oh, can we get like some type of information? Can we get a pamphlet? Can we get this? Can we get that? And... These people's representatives, meaning co-workers, they looked at these people for like a good second or two. Like one of the um, managers that I was working with, she gave this person a blank stare when this person was asking for proof that this money was charitable and it was going to these charities out here in this world. And she couldn't give them anything. She asked them what's the website. She gave them the website. She saw that the website was there, that it was legitimate. But talk about put on a good front. Like people really do know how to put on a good show. And as for these other people that's working in the companies, it was like working. Okay, that company is like a cult. Like I am not playing with y'all. It's like a really freaking cult because of what they 
memorize over and over in their head. This is like practice. All this stuff take practice. I saw that they had like a little um, speech going on. They they had to memorize some stuff. It's more like a freaking Ponzi scam. And I was so like so shocked about it all because I didn't know this was going on. Like basically the charities, some of the charities is real, but the jobs was a scam. <laughs> And it's just to take your money. People are just out here to take your money. Like the company I was working for, they were just out to take your money. And I don't understand how one person, a woman, could own a company like this and think it's okay to do that. I don't think it's okay to do that. That's really fucked up. So when I like sit back and think about it, I'm glad that I quit that job before I was even deep into it. Because this was like out of control. And these people had no shame in their game. So yeah, it was kind of crazy.